Howdy you guys, I am back with episode 5, Endure and Survive. I really had to enunciate that because I wanted to just say Endure, um, but I know that people are going to be like, Endure? Yes, I have an Appalachian accent. Episode 4, I was prepared for some tears. Didn't happen. I think it's the first episode that I've not cried in, but I'm fully prepared in case I do cry in this episode. The last episode, they got ambushed. They found a QZ, they were scared because they were at a QZ, and then it was overrun by an organization that was not the Fireflies, and it, and it wasn't the people from the QZ. So, we don't really know who these people are, but we know that they're dangerous because the, the head leader went in and just pop-popped her doctor because her brother was killed. And he had some information that she wanted to know. And at the end of the episode, the people that she was looking for found Joel and Ellie. So, I'm going to say that they're all in big trouble in this episode. I think that this father and son duo are going to be good. I can't help but think that this superhero child is innocent and sweet and pure. And I have a feeling that the father maybe has made up this game like oh no we have to like hide from these people and like look out for these creatures that are coming to get us god forbid i say zombies i'm not ever gonna say zombies again um i don't know i'm speculating of course but we are going to find out right now okay Oh, okay. So this is how this place come to be, I guess. It would be very valuable to know sign language during this. Or just in general. Did it feel good? Betraying your neighbors to Fedra? Watching us hang so that you could get medicine, alcohol, fucking apples i'm not fedra lucky for you <laughs> no one here has to die we could put you on trial you're all guilty so that's how that'll go and you'll do some time easy you have to do something for me where is henry your informers inform pop 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 kill them he's with edelstein edelstein was a collaborator well he was a lot more discreet than you fucking idiots. Where are they? I'm on trial. No. When you're done, burn the bodies. It's faster. I don't think they need that many people. Then again, I'm not an expert in how many people you need to, to do a job like that. Ah, was it the doctor? I'm sure they don't know about this. Ah. Oh, I got it from a Fedra officer. I never told anyone about it. So we're fucked on food. Ammunition? Empty. Yeah, so is mine. So we'll sneak our way out. 20 cans, we can make it 11 days. So that's how long we have to figure it out. Is he scared? Yeah, he's scared because you're scared. Yes. Coming back. I couldn't imagine being in that situation, and I couldn't imagine having a child in that situation. Mm, I have a 
probably. Probably. Oh, wait. No, yeah, no. I know that they did. Yeah. Oh, is it paint? Ah. Could you imagine being deaf in this situation and like not knowing that there's shooting going on? Like it's already incredibly difficult to navigate. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> Two hands, baby. Joel. Joel! We don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. Okay. I don't know what the next step is with something like this. But if I lower my gun, we didn't hurt you, you don't hurt us. In theory. That's right. It's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Joe, tell him he's okay. Everything is great. Dude. Fuck. <laughs> my name's Henry. It's my brother, Sam. Oh, brother, okay. I just okay. want a man in Kansas City. Although right now, my guess is you're running a close second. He says thank you. How old is he? He's eight. Cool. I'm Ellie. I know the city, so I'm gonna help you get out. I know where to go, but I don't know how to make it through alive. You seem capable enough, you're armed. You're wrong, you're wrong. I never killed anyone. I show the way, you clear the way. But you can't trust them. I mean, I think you can, but just based off the information he just told you. <laughs> Highways, us. This whole area belongs to Capitol. Travel underground and pop up here. Pedestrian bridge over the river. We has a burn. So what do you need me for? You notice anything strange? You know infected? There's infected. Feds drove them underground 15 years ago and never let them come back up. Everyone thinks that it's full of infected, including Kathleen. It's empty. You've been down there? No. But the federal guy that I worked with told me that it's clean. Maybe there's one or two. What if there's more? Or one of those blind ones that sees like a bat? You ran into a clip and you're still alive. You see, if it gets bad, turn around, run right back out the same way we came. Oh, that's your great plan? No, that's my dicey as fuck plan. It's the only shot. Shit. They're going to help us escape. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, there's literally no other option. The city drove them underground? That's crazy. Dude, it's gonna be full down there. It's just, the, the, oh, oh. <laughs> Chad and I just played Diablo 3 last night and it was my first time playing. And I just imagine like those big guys who chase you and then explode with like those worm Push things in inside of them. I imagine those down there. You ready? Get your gun out. They're already down there? <laughs> She's like, oh yeah. I'm so glad she has a gun now though. See? It's empty. We've been down here two seconds. We don't know anything. Okay, if you drove them all underground, couldn't you, um, like, freeze them? They can only survive in body temperatures of, like, above 90 whatever, 99 or, or whatever, so. Whoa. I hope nothing happens to them. Because we just met them, so they are... Expendable characters. Built settlements. What happened to them? Maybe they didn't follow the rules and they all got infected. No way! I love these! To the edge of the universe and back, endure and survive. We just rest here for a while? There's like actually shit to do here. Wouldn't be so bad to wait the light out a bit. If you were collaborating to take care of him, I shouldn't have said what I said. Send a whole army after you for that. That's not what it was. You know, I wasn't uh, exactly telling you the truth before. Shit. About me not killing someone. 
killed Henry. It was a man. Oh, wait, no, he is Henry. Great man. Killed the brother. He's never afraid. And he's always forgiving. Sam got sick. Leukemia. There was one drug that worked. Big shot. There wasn't much left of it. And it belonged to Fedra. She's gonna take something big. <sighs> the leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. The captain's brother. Yeah. Am I the bad guy? I am the bad guy because I did a bad guy thing. But you get it though. You might not be her father, but you were someone's. See, I could tell. You waited long enough. We talk too much. I don't know how to handle my emotions. We haven't found him yet. What about the man who killed Brian? Have you been back to the room you grew up in? No, fuck no. When Michael and I were little, this room seemed so big. He would be horrified by the things I've done. And if you've come to tell me that Michael wouldn't want me to hurt Henry, I know that too. He told me to forgive. Where is the justice in that? What is the point of that? Your brother was a great man. We all loved him. He didn't change anything. You did. Don't. Oh, my God. They're, they're out? Is that easy? I don't know, but what? No one is here. No one's gonna be here because my plan worked. No, I know it changes mine, trust me. This is how it goes. He's like, no, LA, never, ever, ever happening. I'm gonna ask you a million more times and he breaks. <laughs> He's not gonna get you. I'm gonna go around. Try to get in the house through the back, and then I'll take him out. But if you go out there, he's gonna kill you. It's dark, and he has shit aim. Nobody's gonna kill me. Then he's gonna kill us. Do you trust me? Put your head down, Ellie. We said take him out. How do you not know that it's like a group of people? Well, this just seems so stupid. This seems dangerous and stupid. Is it just a gun? Put the gun down. Slide it over to me. Anthony. Oh! Oh! Anthony, hold them where they are. We're almost there. No! Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, Run! fuck, fuck. Oh, my fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> Ellie, run, Ellie, run, Ellie, Ellie, run, run. Oh my fucking god, you're so screwed. Get up. Walk it off. Come on. Yes! Good, 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 good. Shit. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Dead end, Henry. I'll come out. Fuck. Just let the kids go. No. Sorry. I know why you did what you did. But did you ever stop to think that maybe he was supposed to die? He's just a fucking kid. Well, kids die, Henry. They die and all so the time. And so did your fucking brother. You ready to take him and run? Yes. Do it. You cannot outrun that many bullets. I told you somebody was gonna die. Joel, shoot her. Shoot her! Oh my god, it's doing the thing! It's doing the thing! Oh, we'll worry about it later. Oh, I hope it fucks you up. Here they come. Just, they're gone. Y'all better fucking run. Run! They did drive them underground. Literally. Underground. Here they go. Oh my god! Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run. What the fuck? Run, run. Holy shit. Ellie fucking run. Oh my god! 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Get in the car. I don't know. Ellie. It's the Diablo guy. It's just a big one. That was kind of right. I don't think he has worms in his belly. And oh, he's just pissed off. So are those the ones that are like the 20 year old ones? Mushroomed out for 20 years? Uh, clicker. <gasps> clicker baby? Holy shit. Contortionist clicker baby. Get underneath the car. I don't know. Okay, maybe not underneath the car. How many bullets can you shoot before you have to, like, completely reload? I don't know anything about those guns. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, they're just free. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh I, did, I didn't even think about that. Those people are fucked. I really thought somebody was gonna die in all that. So the odds were not in their favor. You think it'll be okay? Yeah, I think it's easier when you're a kid anyway. Is it? You don't have anybody else relying on you. That's the hard part. What's that comic book say? Endure and survive? Endure and survive. That's just we're gonna do. Yeah, it's, it's not great. <laughs> I don't know exactly how I'm getting to Wyoming. I'm probably walking. You know, if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. I told you in the morning. Your day new start. That's surprising. All the time. I not look scared. Never scared all the time. All the time. I would be too. We don't know if it works like that, Ellie. What if it doesn't work like that? And what if you just get your... Oh my god. Don't put it directly on it. Don't! What if, what if like, his... Like, I don't know. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work! I can't believe that we just did that at the same time. No, 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 Ellie. <laughs> and, He's gonna. What did I do? He's gonna turn it. Which way's west?
this was a tough episode. Um, I called it middle of the episode, and I said, these are new characters, they're expendable, and they both were. I thought, I thought one of them, um, didn't think that it was going to be like that at all. I was shocked. I kind of can't help but be mad at Ellie, and I know it's like, it's not her fault. And it was like, you know, like the naive, young idea that she would be able to save him. And she should have just, like, clued everybody in on the situation. But it is what it is. And that really sucks for her. Joel seems kind of hardened to a lot of things. And she's still really young and naive and, like, hasn't been through a lot and hasn't seen a lot up until the last couple episodes. And she's had to deal with some, some trauma. That's traumatic. That was her friend. And I feel bad for the older brother as well because it was like, what are you supposed to do, you know? Like, he did the right thing initially, but it's like such a mindfuck to do that to someone you care for and you love. Um, Again, these same themes keep popping up and it's really difficult for me. I think it's an amazing show. It just seems like every single thing that I watch, it doesn't matter if it was the last Halloween. It doesn't matter if it's this. It doesn't matter if it's like uh, the Puppet Master episode. Like they all have that ending theme of someone doing that and I just I have a really hard time with it. It's fucking brutal, man. It's fucking brutal. And... There goes Shorty. Um, I just, I just feel so bad for Ellie, and in turn, I feel bad for Joel too because he's starting to see her as more than cargo. <laughs> the older brother said, "I can tell that you were a father. You can start to see." Like when Ellie was just broken at the end and was like, "Where's Wes? Let's, let's get the fuck out of Dodge." He was just like heartbroken for her. So they're going to start bonding, and it isn't the cutesy family, like, goody feeling that I wanted it to be. It's fucking heartbreaking and dramatic and upsetting and brutal. I was kind of surprised, though, because when they went under the tunnel system, I really thought that that entire place would just be full and that they would pretty much be screwed and then somebody would probably go down there. Uh, go down as in like somebody would be bit there and like a horde of them or something. I completely forgot about the sink in that one building when he was like, are you sure that you want to just like not address this? And she's like, nah. Well, it bit her in the face, not the ass, but uh, that, <laughs> that little girl clicker just completely, yeah, that was a lot. But, like, fuck that lady. So, so uh, I'm, I'm not mad that she's gone. And that entire city is just completely fucked because of that one issue that she didn't address. But, yeah, overall, really good episode. I think it lends a lot to uh, the character development for Ellie and a, a little bit for Joel as well. Super fucking gnarly shit. If you are watching this on YouTube and you are interested in the full reactions, we have that over on Patreon. We have a couple different tiers for different folks. This video gets put out as an early release. So if you're interested in that, it's all going to be down in the description. We go live a couple times a week over on They Call Me Hat Guys channel. You can find that down in the description as well. I'm looking forward to episode 6. I've heard that 3 and 6 are a lot of people's favorites. I have no idea what that's going to be. <laughs> and uh, I guess I'll see you then.